Hola, amigos. Welcome back to learning Spanish with anime, the go-to destination for all your Spanish learning needs. I'm Elena, and today, we have a fun and informative episode for you. We're going to unravel the mystery of how to say four in Spanish. So, if you've ever found yourself struggling with numbers in another language, you're in the right place. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on our exciting language lessons. All right, let's get started. So, how do you say four in Spanish? Well, the word you're looking for is cuatro. It's a straightforward translation, but did you know that the origins of the word go back to Latin? The Latin word quatuor is the precursor to the Spanish cuatro, showcasing the historical richness of language evolution. Pretty fascinating, right? Now, let's explore some interesting facts about the number four in both English and Spanish. Did you know that in many English-speaking cultures, the number four is often associated with good luck, especially when it comes to finding a four-leaf clover? In Spanish-speaking cultures, the concept of good luck is also prevalent, but it might not be connected to four-leaf clover specifically. Feel free to share your cultural insights in the comments below. Another intriguing tidbit, in various ancient traditions, the number four is linked to the four elements, earth, water, air, and fire. This concept is present in both English and Spanish, showcasing the universal themes that connect different languages. Now, let's have some fun with pronunciation. Repeat after me, cuatro. Perfecto. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't be shy to use the word in your everyday conversations. Here's a quick language tip for you. If you want to say four books or four friends in Spanish, you'll use the word cuatro, followed by the plural form of the noun. Easy, right? That wraps up today's episode on how to say four in Spanish. We hope you enjoyed the journey into the linguistic world of numbers. If you have any questions or if there's a specific word you'd like us to cover in our next video, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to share this video with your fellow language enthusiasts, and we'll catch you in the next lesson. Hasta luego, amigos.